Right there, right by the bank. I was just about to reel this thing in, and he nailed it. Oh, that's a good one. What's going on, guys? Uh, Can Outdoors. This is a new YouTube channel, and this is the first video on the channel. Behind me, I have my fishing kayak. It's set up the way I would set it up in a fishing tournament. So let's check it out. Okay, starting from the front here. <clears throat> We have my KBF sticker, NYKBF. That's the tournaments I fish in. This is a Sun Dolphin Boss 12 SS fishing kayak. You can stand, you can sit. Um, it's a very comfortable kayak, but I'll do a review on this in a different video. But I do love this kayak. It's very stable, very comfortable. Um, up here I got two battery boxes that I made. This one is not usually on my kayak. I made this for camping and stuff, but uh, sometimes when I night fish, I'll keep this on here because I have a extremely bright LED light set up on the front of it. Um, with this light and the battery that I have in here, I can run it for about 10 hours, maybe a little more, uh, just straight run time. So that's pretty impressive, I think. It's a seven and a half amp hour battery, sealed lead acid battery. Um, this other switch right here goes to this 12 volt outlet With a little cap on it that works as well. These are very easy to set up. They're not complicated This one over here is Basically the same only it only has one switch and it powers both the 12 out uh, 12 volt outlet and uh, This right here is for my fish finder, which I don't have right now It is coming in the mail because of everything going on it's going to take a while to get here, maybe another two weeks. But the fish finder just plugs right into that. And that has about the same draw amperage as this uh, light does. So I should be able to run my fish finder for about 10 hours. I only need it for about 8, so that's good. Um, let me open this up. I didn't do any videos on how I made these, so I'm just going to show you what they look like real quick on the inside. This one here is very simple. You got my seven and a half amp hour sealed lead acid battery. Um, the power comes out from the positive, goes through a 15 amp fuse, then down to the bottom of this, uh, this rocker switch. And then when you switch it, it completes the circuit and it sends the power out one to the fish finder power, one to the outlet power, and then both of these have their own independent ground going back to the ground on the battery. So it completes a full circuit and it does work. Um, I just made these a few days ago and everything works out great. This one is set up exactly the same except uh, it has two switches, one for the outlet and one for the light, but that's because I'm planning on possibly adding something else to it. Maybe adding a thing for my fish finder on that as well. So if I lose power on this, I can just use that one too. Right here is my uh, Sterilite container. I just keep a bunch of soft plastics in there as you can tell. Tons of yum bait, lots of KBD stuff. Just the stuff I like to have on my kayak. This comes with the kayak. It's just to help you stand up. You can pull on it. The kayak has foot rests like most of them do, adjustable. This is for a rod holder. It does come with a rod holder that sits in there and locks. I don't ever use it, but, you know, there it is. This right here was supposed to be a gear track, but this is not a gear track. It's not cut out right here. If you notice, this one over here is a gear track. It's cut out in the center, so you can slide your stuff either way and lock it down. That'll fit Yak Attack gear as well. This one over here doesn't have an actual gear track. It's just for looks, I guess. Um, I just got a cheapo paddle, but I love this paddle. It has these teeth on the end for gripping things like pushing away from logs, pushing away from the shore. Um, coming over here, we have this is my PFD. That's mandatory in the tournaments, but I always wear it anyway. It has all my stuff in it, like all my stuff that I need. This is a wacky rig tool. I keep a couple of markers, red one and a black one. 
I got my fish grips on this little leash here. I also have a waterproof phone case with a leash and some forceps on a leash. I keep my uh, fishing license and stuff like that in there as well. Under here I have my landing net in case I get a real big one or something I don't want to touch. Under here is my hog trough. This is mandatory for the fishing tournaments. You have to measure your fish, take a picture with the mouth closed, and then you upload the picture and that's how you put your fish in the tournament because we do uh, CPR, catch photo relief. This seat is extremely comfortable. Uh, I've had this kayak for about a year and a half and I have not wore this seat out at all. And I sit in this thing for sometimes eight hours just fishing, paddling around. I don't ever get sore or anything like that. It's very comfortable. Uh, back here is my kayak crate. Um, this light right here I have to keep on my kayak in case I do fish at night. That's mandatory. <clears throat> I have this crate isn't a milk crate. This is actually a slightly bigger crate that you can buy at Walmart. And I can fit six of these 3600 series trays in it. Which I like because I like to have a lot of stuff. These rod holders right here I actually made these myself. They are inch and a half uh, PVC pipe and I had to make a big cut in the front and a small one in the back for my uh, my two bait casting rods. Sorry about the geese guys, they live on my pond here. Um, and my spinning rods have just one notch in the front and these things fit real nice. I'm adding some rod leashes very soon so I don't lose my stuff. I put this uh, bottle holder from a bicycle that mounted right to it, no problem. That way my drinking bottle is right there, right next to my seat. I don't have to reach for it. It's not rolling around in my kayak. I made this uh, anchor trolley. It's a do-it-yourself one, but I'm going to put some pulleys in here soon because when it's tight, when it's dry, this actually tightens up. This is paracord, real paracord, and it gets tight. If, as you can see and when it's dry and it's tight it will not slide back and forth very easily you have to really rinse it so I'll put some pulleys in there soon uh, another rod holder on this side that I don't use I put this on here this was from a flagpole and I just used that to tie off my anchor and the other end of the anchor line clips right onto this and that way I can get rid of my anchor in a hurry if I need to uh, get out of the way if there's a big boat coming for me and they don't see me I can flip that off and paddle away as quick as I can. Uh, my anchor line also has a float on the other end of the anchor line, so if I do have to do that, I can come back and get my anchor. I don't lose it. Um, anyway, guys, that is the overview of my fishing kayak. I will do another video soon, as soon as I get my uh, fish finder, and we'll check that out together, do a quick unboxing and stuff. It is, it's going to be a Garmin uh, Striker Plus. 7SV. Anyway guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.